The mean intelligence quotient, IQ, score is 100, with a standard deviation of 15, and the scores are normally distributed. Given this information, the approximate percentage of the population with an IQ greater than 130 is closest to... So, by them telling us that these scores are normally distributed, what that implies is that the distribution is going to have this shape. And what you need to know uh, is the middle here is where the mean is located. 130 will be to the right of 100, and it will be right here, approximately. I'm not drawing anything to scale. There's no scales anywhere. Uh, but I do know that 100 to 130, this is going to be two standard deviations away. So it's two standard deviations. So that sigma there is typically used to represent uh, standard deviations. So this is 15, right? So standard deviation is 15, so I move two standard deviations away. So a, a, a rule that you should be familiar with, if you have um, mean here is 100, that mu is typically used to represent the, um, the, the mean for a normally, normal distribution. So if you have mu plus or minus one standard deviation, this is going to be the middle. Uh, this is going to be the middle, sixty-eight percent of the graph. If you have mu plus or minus two standard deviations, then it's going to be the middle, ninety-five percent of the graph. If you have mu plus or minus three standard deviations, then it's going to be the middle, ninety-nine point seven percent of the graph. And what do I mean by the middle ninety, uh, middle sixty-eight, middle ninety-five, or middle ninety-nine percent? Well, it's going to be like, I mean, exactly what I'm saying here, the middle 68%. And then it's going to be the middle 95%. And then this is going to be the middle 99.7%. Which is why in many of the Algebra 2 Regents questions, when they ask you to conduct like confidence interval tests, okay, typically they would ask you to do it at 95% confidence interval because it covers, you know, it's it's two standard deviations away from the mean. Uh, and that's over 95%, the middle 95%. So here, uh, the question is asking for approximate percentage of the population um, with an IQ greater than 130, right? So we're looking for an area that's over here. Okay, so if the middle, if uh, 130 is two standard deviations away, and we'll use another color now, and this right now, if we go two standard deviations to the right and two standard deviations to the left, this will be 95%, right? So, uh, what that implies then is this is going to be 2.5%, right? And this right here is going to be 2.5% because the total area underneath the curve is supposed to be 100%. So the question here is asking for a um, the percentage of people that are going to be greater than 130. So greater than 130, the one that's closest, it's got to be 2%. That's the only one that makes any sense.